Before you start your next project, click on the link in the description for my professional woodworking plans and build a piece of furniture that will last a lifetime. Okay, moving along on this table project. A lot of little steps, so I thought I'd put a little extra time and attention to this one. As you can see, I've got the table, it's upside down. I have a few coats of finish on the bottom of the table. This is the cross brace and this is the base. I need to attach the cross brace to the base. And over here I can use a regular screw because I'm going into the cross grain. Over here, I'm gonna to have to use a screw insert because if I were to screw into the, the end grain, in sure. uh, um, storing on Instagram there. If I were to screw into the end grain, then the screw would eventually strip out. So here I'm going to use a screw insert. What I'm gonna do now is just make sure the base is in the exact right position, mark it out with a few pieces of tape, and then we'll get to work installing those inserts. I've got the cross brace marked, and now I can remove the base. Measuring from the edge of the tape, which would be the outside of the leg, I'll make a mark at an inch and a quarter and nine and a half, and use the drill press to drill a small pilot hole. I've clamped the cross brace into position. Now I can drill through the pilot hole and into the brace. While I have the cross brace in position, I'll pre-drill holes for the screws that will go into the cross grain. I'm using the drill press to make a drill guide that I can clamp onto the base. I'll use a square to draw a line across the center of the pilot hole. And I'll extend that line down the leg on both sides. I'm using a 3 quarter inch Faustner bit to slightly recess the hole. I've clamped the drill guide into position and I'm using a piece of tape as a depth gauge on my drill bit. Because white oak is such a very dense hard wood, I'm drilling the holes at 2764, which is just a little smaller than the inserts. Here I'm using a 1 inch Faustner bit to countersink the holes at the top of the brace so they won't interfere with the bottom of the tabletop. I'm using the same 2764 drill bit to drill through the brace. This gives me a little room in case the holes are not lined up perfectly. The threads on the insert are just a little bit bigger than the hole so I'm using epoxy to really hold them in place. This is West System epoxy and the hardener gets darker over time, kind of a deep dark red. It still works the same, but it does get darker, and sometimes this works towards my advantage when I'm making wood fill. I'm adding fine sawdust to the epoxy to create a paste. This will keep the epoxy from settling to the bottom of the hole.
After threading the insert into the wood, I'll thread the bolt into the insert to keep it from filling up with epoxy. I'll periodically turn the bolt as the epoxy is setting up so the bolt doesn't become stuck in place. Once the epoxy is about 80% cured, I'll remove the screws completely and allow the epoxy to dry overnight. The following day, I'll use a sanding block and sand it smooth. Okay, so that was just about the last step. Next, I'll take everything apart, give all the parts a good sanding, and then start to apply the finish. I like to make these standalone detail videos, and then once the project goes up, I can list them in the description below, and anybody building this table then will get that extra help to uh, hopefully answer any questions as they're working on the project. One of the things I still need to do is finalize my plans. Once I do that, I'll send them off to Brian Benham. If you're not familiar with Brian Benham, definitely check him out. I'll have links to his channel and his Instagram. Fantastic woodworker. And if you follow him, you're definitely going to pick up some helpful tips. So Brian will take my drawings, turn them into professional SketchUp plans, and they will be available when this project gets posted. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Before you start your next project, click on the link in the description below for my professional woodworking plans, and follow me on Instagram to see what I'm working on today.